Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Last time we made our way to the prehistoric time, 65 million BC, we looked around, went to the village, we couldn't find the chief so we couldn't do any trading or anything else like that, uh, but we just saw what we can saw and we got a really nice um, piece of armor for it too, so it really was worth going there. And also, there is a fantastic grinding spot in the hunting range, where if you wait for the rainfall to come, you can fight the new, and you can get 30 tech points. So if you want to hang out there and learn a bunch of techs so that you can be ridiculously overpowered, then hey, have at it. You know, you do you. So I started off the episode um, kind of above that cliff where we started off in the prehistoric area, just to show you how you get back to the end of time. And uh, now I am going back to the future, for lack of a better term, to get a treasure chest that I missed. It is not an important treasure chest at all. It's only a mid-tonic, but everyone kept on talking about it in the comments. Wouldn't let it go, so whatever. I'll get the mid-tonic. I hope everybody's happy. <laughs> it's really not that serious, people. Okay. I mean, it's not like I missed a good thing. Oh, do I have to fight these guys? Pain in my ass. Yeah. I'm gonna meet you back at the end of time. I've made my way back. Uh, so now it's time to go to Medina Village in the present day time period. It is the only place that we've yet to have gone to. And also that weird old guy at the end of time is like, hey, you need to go back to your time. So, yeah. <laughs> I love this. Oh god, these poor little monsters. Did we come out of the closet? Yeah, about 17 years ago, actually. <laughs> oh, these poor... <laughs> at least these guys seem nice, I guess. Oh, okay. So monsters are essentially mystics, and um, this village was founded by the ancestors of the mystics who lost a war to the human beings back 400 years ago, but a lot of people still hold a grudge against humanity. Oh, an odd man who lives near the cave to the mountains of the west. Yeah, no kidding. I wonder if these monsters, like, if they just live that long, or if they just really hold onto grudges for that long. Like, that's kind of crazy. But that's a little house, and this village, for being founded by monsters and inhabited by monsters, of all things, looks very human-like. It has human food, it has refrigerators, it has ovens, it has, you know, everything that the human village has. Ozzy the Eighth, Medina's village leader. Oh, really? You serve Magus? Oh, yikes. At least we don't have to go back in time and kill Magus or anything. It looks like Magus was taken care of 400 years ago, so that's nice. Anyway, in this house, it's important that you get the two tabs here. And then this guy tells us something really important, too. There's a beast who lives in the cave to the west, and only magical attacks can harm it. So if you don't have magic, You'll be screwed. This is the game's way of saying, hey, if you didn't go in and talk to Specchio, you might want to do that and get your magic, because if you don't, you're not going to beat the boss. God, this is creepy. I don't know. What is all this? Oh, God, it's more monsters. And another statue of Magus. We saw that same statue back in the cathedral back 400 years ago. Hut! Ten hut! I guess they're saluting him or something. Yeah. Oh god, I don't want Lavas to awaken. I mean, we've already seen what happened last time. Yeah, we stand no chance against Lavos. We died a horrible death against him whenever I tried to fight him. Oh, maybe, you know, maybe if we can go back in time and we can make it so that Magus never summons Lavos in the first place, that would be good. Oh, um, we could just give up and we can get out of here. Or we can plead and say, please sell us something. Uh-oh. Yikes! Yeah, please.
please sell us something or else we're gonna beat the ever loving crap out of you. Yeah. Let's go ahead and use a laser spin. Oh, sweet. I have that counterattack band on. I forgot about that. Yeah, laser spin is really nice because the henchman is weak to magic. Look at how much damage. 336 damage to the henchman. Yes. So nice. Oh, got an ether out of it. Doinks. So, will you sell us something? Okay. Whoa! Holy crap! He's like, yeah, I'll sell you something, but it's no good, and it's ridiculously expensive. Like, look at this. Normally, tonics only cost 10 gold. It costs 540 gold. Yeah. He just kind of tries to screw you here, but actually, some of this stuff is kind of nice. Look at those increases. But there's no way that you can afford it, so, yeah. Ugh. God, nobody here likes us. We didn't do anything to these people. Man. Will you let us stay at the inn? Uh-oh. Please! Yikes! Yeah, we should have just given up. <laughs> Let's go for the henchman. Um, and then the Diablos I should be able to just deal with with a um with a laser spin, hopefully. Laser spin is so nice. It is your only it's your only way of dealing multi-target damage to all of these guys. And it's relatively cheap. I mean, it only costs three MP. And it's just fast, it's wonderful. I love me some laser spin. <laughs> Shriek! <laughs> 200 gold? Hell no! Oh man. You know what, I wonder. If I go back into the, yeah, these guys just respawn. What do they guys have to say? Oh. Uh-oh. Hecron. Hmm. I wonder if they're talking about me. They said those humans. I imagine they're talking about me. So forest ruins. Get a mid ether. Awesome. What in the world is this thing? Huh. I'm sure it's nothing important. Uh, well, it did say that it's ruins. And then somebody did tell us that there was some magical kingdom a long time ago. So maybe it's ruins from that civilization. I don't know. Belchior's hut. Remember this guy from the Millennial Fair? He's the one that we tried to um, sell Marl's pendant to? Yeah, this is his house. So we can buy a red katana, which is very nice. Not only does it increase Karno's attack power, but it increases his magic stat by two, which is fantastic. I need to equip that Robin bow that I already got for her. And um, you know what? Actually, for Luca, you could buy her a Titan Vest, but I would not bother. Don't even worry about it. We'll be getting something better for her momentarily. Go ahead and give him the red katana, and you got the Robin bow. Yeah, I need to, you know, I'm getting stuff, and I'm forgetting to actually equip all the stuff that I'm getting. And speaking of equipping stuff, let's take off the speed belt for right now. And we're going to give that to Robo, since I really do want to use his laser spin, and I want him to be fast to use that. So you have the bandana, you have the rage band, uh, you have the ribbon. What can I give you? I guess the two times evade is not half bad. That's nice to have something on her. Oh, well, you have a point. But, you know, you're making weapons. Oh, really? A shortcut in the cave to the north. Thank you, Melchior. Thank you so much for telling me that. So let's go into Hecron Cave. Death to the Mystic's enemies! Yikes! Okay, so here's the deal with these uh, enemies inside this cave. Robo, I have said so many times how great Robo is. Robo is ridiculous. He is insanely good. And yeah, look how much damage a laser spin does. It is so nice. Those hench only have, I think, 49 HP. They're the ones that we just fought inside the um, item shop and in and whatnot. So, yeah, just laser spin, kill him dead, get an ether. Very nice to have. And let's move on with life. Whoa! There's some Octorots! Octorot soup! Okay, so here is the joy of Robo. Just check this shit out. If these Octorots would quit attacking Chrono, 
feel like I should disequip the Rage Band from him just because it's taking longer to do things with him counterattacking all the time. Oh well, it's not the biggest deal. But yeah, he is essentially able to just clear the screen of all those guys. I almost got the gin bottle, just needed a couple more damage on it, and uh, we got rid of that as well. So yeah, like that is just the power, the supreme power of Robo. Okay, here we have some Temperites, who just dug up the land or whatever. And again, laser spin! I have seen so many people go through this cave and they bring Luca in here. And I'm like, why? Everybody else has single target stuff. Why? Bring in Robo. He clears the screen. Like, I don't understand why you would not bring in Robo here. You know what? What do I need to... Okay, I, I need to go down here. I got a little confused for a hot second. Little roly-poly guys are so cute. These guys only have 50 HP, but let me show you something. It, let's say we physically attack them, just because. Yeah, 26 damage. That's nothing. So, if you try to physically attack them, it would take, like, probably three hits to kill them. You know, maybe two chrono hits, but, you know, if you have Marl's piddly-ass attack power in there, I'm sure it would take her much longer. But you laser spin them, and you're done! It just makes things so much easier. Uh-oh. Yikes! For some cave bats. These guys I don't think are kind of like immune to physical hits or I don't think that they're that resistant. Oh man, I spoke too soon. Damn, they are resistant to physical attacks. Holy crap. Wow, who knew? Um, yeah, laser spin. Sorry about it. <laughs> you might think that this is a little bit boring, but honestly, like, this is the best way to do it. Get a multi-target attack. Use it. Bam! Okay, so it shouldn't take much more. They have 108 HP. So we've gotten some some counter-attacks on them with Chrono. So hopefully getting in some more little physical hits here and there. Wow, Marl. You are more pathetic than I thought that you were. Okay, yeah, we can go ahead and uh, use magic on them. Or you know what, Robo's turn is... Robo's turn's here anyway. Whatever, Robo. Let's use another laser spin. Let's just get rid of these guys probably have like 2 HP left. Yeah, there goes that one. Just ice this bitch. Good lord. Who has time for all this? <laughs> there we go. Those bats actually have the most HP of any of the enemies in the cave, so it's probably the only enemy that you're going to have to hit with a, um... with dual laser spins. The Magic Scarf. Fantastic piece of equipment. I keep on hitting the wrong button. The Magic Scarf will raise your magic stat by two points. So it's going to lower your speed a little bit, but it's going to make that laser spin just that much more powerful for clearing out these randoms for right now. Grab that mid ether. Yikes, four of these guys. But yeah, one laser spin does them in. Takes a little bit longer now that he doesn't have the speed belt, but it's not the end of the world. We are fine. I think half the fun of this game is just watching the enemies arrive. It really is. It's so cute. After that battle, we're going to need to use our ethers on Robo. We'll use two just in case we have so many ethers. I haven't even bought ethers. You just get them as drops and in treasure chests all the time. It's just really nice. Oh god, these guys again. That magic scarf made all the difference, though, because I was able to one-shot them with the laser spin. Okay, here we have another one of those black treasure chests. And I remember as a kid, getting hopelessly lost in here, not knowing where to go, what to do, because there is a very hidden secret passage right there that you have to take. Yeah, it's kind of a bastard move on the developer's part, but whatever. Okay, so here, let's go ahead and use our save point. I want to use a shelter. There we go. Um, the speed tab. Let's go ahead and use that on Robo as well. And where is the... Let's organize this. Okay, the magic tab. Let's go ahead and put that on Robo as well. However, I do want to change my party around just a tad bit. Let's see. We got this magic scarf. We're going to give that to Luca so that she has some really nice magic going on. Um, let's see, we have the Rage Band on you. 
Let's give you, Marl, the... Give you the speed belt, and we'll give you the bandana. And then let's go ahead and change my party around. Take Robo out right now, and bring Luca in. Okay, with that, I think I am ready to roll. Whoa! Death to the Mystic's enemies! Against Hecran himself! The namesake of the cave. But, if you recall, we've kind of already fought this guy. And we have a new dual tech between Marl and Chrono, the Ice Sword. Let's go ahead and show that one off. We learned that whenever Chrono learns his, I think it's his spin cut tech. So I learned that in the cave. 203. Not half bad. But Hecran can only be damaged by magic. Whoa, 181 from a fire spell by Luca. Yeah, that's the power of that magic scarf. Um, yeah, we'll try a lightning. I think that's just using single target techs, magic techs against Hecran, will actually be better than using a dual tech. Yeah, it will be if I use an ice um, from Marl there. There we are. So if you recall, in the episode where we went to the Day of Lavos, and we fought Lavos, remember seeing this guy? Yeah. Um, I was able to beat him back then, so now I'm even more powerful than I was then. So, yeah, I should be able to make short work of this guy. I mean, how hard could he possibly be? Ugh. Yeah, I hit him during the counterattack phase, and I was gonna water wave me! Whoa! Okay, that really sucks. Because of that, um, Marl, you have to go... You have a cure? Oh, you do have a cure. Let's go ahead and use that. Yeah, that's really nice. And honestly... Oh! Wait, I forgot about the counterattack! Damn it! Urgh! Why do I do this to myself? What is wrong with me? <laughs> Good lord, I'm gonna kill myself because I'm stupid. Okay, um... Where are we at? Yeah, Luca, you heal her. She's my main damage dealer right now anyway. Um, let's wait for it. There we go. There's that counterattack break that I want. Let's go ahead and have a cure on Marl. And then we can have you join in with lightning fun, Chrono. Normally, like, I'm not this, like, spastic whenever I'm playing by myself. But whenever I'm recording, like, I just, I, I don't know. I just kind of get ahead of myself, you know? Probably just human nature. You know, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm so good. I've played this game a million times. And I'm like, oh, wait, watch. Here I go. Watch me screw up. <laughs> oh well. Okay, let's see his turn. You need cure Chrono, and there we are. If you're having problems against Hecran, you might want to bring in Robo, um, and then just have Chrono be the main deal damage dealer. Ooh, yeah, he's moving into his yes indeed phase, um, because Robo and Marl would have access to curing magic, and they would also both have access to magical attacks, because the laser spin does count as a magical attack as well. Just wait for it. Okay, there we go. You can actually join in on the attacking, Marl. There we are. But I think that having Luca in with her... with, with her innate magic stat, with her higher magic stat, is probably the best way to go, especially with that magic scarf. And it is nice that they give you the uh, red katana with the extra magical boost for Chrono as well. Ooh, learned Fire Sword! Nice! Oh. Oh, man. God. You guys really do hate us. Holy crap! Well, we got rid of him. Yeah. The Destroyer of Worlds. We could give it a shot. Okay, that's true. Last time we went into the past was at that fairground gate. Um, that's whenever we, you know, we went back there at the very beginning of the game, whenever Marl was kind of vanishing, and, you know, we've met Frog and all that. But, yeah, here we are. Oh, we can go back this way in the Vortex Pit. But well, let's go inside of Luca's house. Hey there. Hey, we got a Taiban vest. His finest work. The ultimate defense for Luca. I keep on hitting the wrong freaking button. God, it drives me nuts. Why do I do that? Ugh. But this is only for Luca. It increases your speed by two, and it increases your defense by what is that? Eight points, and 
It increases your resistance to fire. This is an insanely good piece of equipment for an already insanely powerful character. So that's nice. And let's go check in on Lara, Luca's mother. I just want to see if she has anything else to say. Um, yeah, she's still whining about how we're selfish and whatnot, but oh well. So it looks like next time we are headed to the past to see if we can stop Magus. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.